Hello folks and welcome to a wise game video where in today's video we're going to be covering WoW Classic Seasons of Mastery. What we're actually going to be diving into in today's video is the cost for the training in your first mount at level 40 and also some information about your epic mount. So with no further ado, remember to like, subscribe, and also ring that bell notification down below. This all helps in supporting the channel. So let's give it a look. So now I am going to come right out and say right at the start here, not to waste anybody's time, if you're mainly looking for level 60, the epic mount and riding training, and the cost when it comes to those, I just want you to know right out in front that that has not changed since Classic WoW. But if you've never played Classic WoW, then please stick around for that information. Now, during Classic WoW, I did come out with a video going over mountain training and a lot of details when it comes to how the whole riding system works. Where in today's video, it's going to be more basic and I'm just going to be going over the changes. So if you want to know all the details when it comes to Classic WoW and Seasons of Mastery when it comes to the actual writing method, then please visit that video. I'll have the link in the description panel and also at the end of this video. So what changed when it comes to Season of Mastery writing and training? It's mainly just level 40 and the cost. But I will also go over some additional information that I did not cover in the first video. And the first piece of information I'm going to share in today's video when it comes to that is where do we go for our classes when it comes to faction trainers and the locations. So I'm going to show this list right here and then you could pause the video right here if you want to read more details when it comes to this because it even has the coordinates of their locations instead of me taking five minutes of your time reading the whole list out and then next we're looking at a list for each race in the game so this is going to show you what your race uses when it comes to the riding skill and the respective mounts for that race and again when i'm showing these segments right here feel free to just pause the video and then next i even went over this in my first original video is some discounts so you do get discounts in the game when it comes to your riding and your mounts and that being is that if you reach honored with your faction so in my case i'm a human if i get honored reputation with stormwind then it's going to give me a 10 percent discount on all the cost and then if you do PvP and you reach rank 3, it's also going to give you another 10% discount. Giving you the total of a 20% savings. Which is pretty sweet and not too hard to actually pull off. Rank 3 and PvP doing Battlegrounds. Seeing Battlegrounds did come out right away in Season of Mastery compared to the original Classic WoW. It's not that hard to get at all. Now it's time to jump into the meat and the potatoes of today's video, the cost, and the changes between Classic WoW and what we see in Season of Mastery. Starting off by saying again at level 60 once you get your epic mount, that still remains the same as it did in Classic WoW. So for most mounts, it's going to be 1,000 gold. And that's before any kind of discount from your reputations or from the rank 3 and PvP. Each one of those giving you an additional 100 gold in savings. Which will bring your total up now to 800 gold for your epic mount. Now for our level 40 mount, the first mount that we get in the game has made a drastic change. And for the better, thank God. Because the first mount used to cost us roughly between training and the cost of the mount 100 gold before any kind of discounts. And we all know if you're playing Season of Mastery or Classic WoW that 100 gold at level 40 
is pretty darn high and not always easy to get. I'm going to give you guys a tip. Try not to overspend on your way to level 40. Only take the skills from your trainer, from your class trainer, that you absolutely need. Trying to learn everything at the start of the game is going to make it where getting your first mount will be almost totally impossible. All right, so how much will this all cost us now in Season of Mastery at level 40? Well, the training now that used to be 20 gold is now going to be 10. And the mount cost that used to be 80 gold is now half at 40 gold. This works opposite in the classic WoW version than what we see in classic The Burning Crusade. The Burning Crusade changed the game where it was the training that was the most expensive part and the mounts was the cheapest part, which is now only going to cost us in Season of Mastery 50 gold, half the price. And 40 gold if we get the 20% discounts. Hats off to Blizzard here. And so there we have it, folks. And again, visit my other video at the end of this video for more detail with the overall writing system for Classic WoW, also Season of Mastery. Thanks for sticking around for the whole duration of today's video. I hope it was helpful, and I will catch you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.